grade, lesson five, and this one is on place value through hundred trillions. And then we're also going to be doing reading and writing whole numbers, okay? So let's talk about something real quick. Um, early on, uh, probably even in your fifth grade year, sixth grade year, I taught you this, but I'm going to teach it to you again. Um, math is very patterned, okay? And so when we're talking about numbers, let's talk about the whole number ones place, tens place, hundreds place, okay? We're not talking about what comes after the decimal, okay? So I'm just gonna erase that for right now, all right? So in math, everything's a pattern, all right? So it goes ones, tens, hundreds, then there's a comma. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, comma. Millions, ten millions, hundred millions, comma. Billions, ten billions, hundred billions, comma trillions and so forth okay so what do you notice is in each category in each section how many are there three three in every single one of them so we call this one the units group or the ones group however you want to say it units or ones what's this group called do you remember tens C close pay attention to this what would that first number be called uh Thousands? thousands do you remember that it's been a while it's been a long while okay so this is ones tens hundreds oh thousands yeah I got you. okay <clears throat> and then what's this group gonna be called um what comes one, after thousands ten thousand millions you're you're taking each step uh, we're not doing that yet okay I'm doing each section so if this was a whole bunch of money okay okay it's, we haven't done it in forever, so I, I understand that it might be a little bit of a struggle. Okay, so, um, okay, so we've got the ones or the t uh, units, uh, thousands, millions, billions, billions, good job, now you're catching on, billions, and then trillions. trillions. Now, I'm going to pretend there's three, or I'll try to draw three, but you can't really see it. Okay, I probably should have started more, that's why. Okay, now, this is the ones tens, hundreds, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now this group is called the thousands group, so the thousands is the first one that's written, okay, and we're going this direction. So thousands, and then, just like this one has tens, it's going to be ten thousand. You see that? Mm -hmm. Just like this one says hundreds, the next one's going to be hundreds, hundred thousands. Got it? See how that works? And then this one would be what? What's the first spot in this group? Millions. Million. Good job. Then this one would be 10 million. 10 million. Good job. And then 100 million. 100 million. Good job. Same thing with this one. Billion. Okay. 10 billion. 100 billion. And then what would this one be? A trillion. Trillion. This one would be the 10 trillion. trillion. And this one would be the hundred trillion. See how that works? Okay, and then um, quadruple or something, quad, quadrillion, septillion, you just keep going, okay? Of course, I think it's five, so I don't remember what the five one is, maybe septillion, septillion. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, a lot of times we don't even go past trillion. So, we're going to stop there, but do you notice our pattern? What's happening? Tens is in every second one group. Ten thousands, ten million, ten billion, ten trillion. Hundreds, hundred thousand, hundred million, hundred billion, hundred trillion. Okay, so it's just good to know that. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to draw a number up here. 32, I'm not going to say it out loud. 567, 890. Okay, now, I'm not going to say the, the whole number yet, but if I were to ask you um, which digit is in the trillions, just trillions, place, first thing I would do is go, this is the thousand, this is the yeah. million, this is the billion. Every comma separates whatever all these are, okay? And this one would be trillion, okay? So, if I'm looking for the digit that's in the trillions, what would you tell me? 
Two, excellent, okay? What if I said 10 trillion? Three. Okay, what if I said 100 billion? Five. Very good. What if I said, what um, place is the eight in? What would you tell me? Um, 100 million. Very good. Excellent. You've got it perfect. Okay, great job. Now, let's talk about something else. And you may or may not remember. This is his expanded notation. notation. Do you have any remembrance of it at all? Mm -hmm. The word, especially, probably. Okay, yeah. if I was to write 5,281 in expanded notation, what you're going to do is do this, okay? You're going to take your first number, 5, and you're going to multiply by its place value. Whoops, place value. So this is in the ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. So guess what I'm going to do? 5 times thousand. Okay, that's expanding that number right there. Now, plus, we want to also do the two. So what would my two one be? Two hundred times one hundred because this is ones, tens, hundred. Very good. Plus the eight. Eighty. Eight times ten. Ten. Very good. Plus one times. What place is it in? Once. Very good. And that's your answer. Now, what if this had a zero? You just don't do it. Yeah. You would just answer this, this, this. Okay, now watch this. What is five times a thousand? Five thousand. What's two times a hundred? Two hundred. What's eight times ten? Eighty. Now, if I add all those up, plus, plus, then if I do that, I get five thousand two hundred eighty, which is our number. See that? Pretty simple. All right, now, good job, so that was just a quick review on expanded notation. Now, I'm going to ask you to read and write certain numbers, okay? So, let's first start off to do this. Hmm. What if I told you to use words to write this? a big number okay so help me out what spot does this indicate yeah. what spot does this indicate this comma thousand thousands what does this one indicate million okay so I'm gonna put T for thousand th for a thousand million what's this one indicate billion. and what's this one indicate trillion trillion okay now okay that's just something that I do when I first start off boom immediately now you say the groups. Okay? So you see how I grouped them? Mm -hmm. So watch how I read this one. One, that comma means trillion. 380 billion. billion. And then there's, I don't say anything because it's zero, zero, zero. 50,200. So if I were to say this out loud, I would say, one trillion three hundred eighty billion fifty thousand two hundred. That's me reading that number. But do you see how I grouped it? You just read three hundred eighty, and then you tell me what that comma is and what it means. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's try one on your own. Ready? Now I'm not going to put commas in here for you on this one. So do you want to come up here, or you prefer not to? It's totally up to you. Okay? You're going to have to put your commas in, and then I want you to actually read it to me exactly how it would read. Good job. Okay. Ready? So it would be um, 3,406,521. Excellent job. He did it just right. Okay? So this one, that comma was for 1,000. And this comma was for million. So he read out 3,406,521. Very good. But I did notice something that I also struggle with. You don't say and ever until you get to that spot right there. That dot, a decimal in math, means and. 
So if I said and up here, I would actually be actually adding a decimal in my answer. So this would be 3,406,521 and 50 cents. See how I said that? Mm -hmm. Okay, but if I said 3,406,000, it would be almost 3 million and then 406 and, so it would just make it really um, off. So you make sure you don't say and except when there's a decimal. All right, now I'm gonna write this because they're gonna tell you to use words to write this. Using words to write this is this. I actually say exactly what it is. Three, three what? Three million. Got it? Three million? Mm -hmm. Okay, and where you see a comma up here, you put a comma over here. Okay, put it down here. Three million, comma, three million, comma. 406,000. Four, whoops, 400, just as, as if you would say it, you would write it. 406, and this is thousand, so we're gonna write thousand. And because there's a comma, you're gonna put a comma. Got it? So 3,406,000, comma. I'm gonna take off the decimal so because we're not working on that right now. 521. 521. And there's no comma, so there's no comma. And that's that. 3,406,000, make sure you're putting your commas in, 521. Now, the only other thing I need to do is add my dash. Do you remember why we do that? No. 21. Okay, it's a number, so basically from 20 to 100, of course not the 10s, 20, 30, 40, 50, but 21, 38, 52, 69, 99, will always be 90-9. That's the correct way to say it. Okay, so you always put your dash in numbers from 20 to 100, if it's um, 21, 69, 96, 48, things like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Got it, you feel like you understand it? Yeah. Good job. <clears throat> All right, last thing. Use digits, which are numbers, use digits to write this. Be thinking in your head how you would do this. You can even do it on your paper if you want to. tell me use digits to write 20 trillion 510 million now your very first step in this is what's the biggest number in here trillion trillions okay so guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start on my paper going one tens hundreds thousand ten thousand hundred thousand million ten million hundred million billion ten billion hundred billion trillion, 10 trillion, 100 trillion. Because I know it's going up to trillion. And if it helps, you can put down here thousand, million, billion, trillion. All right, now, 20 trillion. So where is my 20 gonna go? In my trillion section, 20 trillion. Got it? So I'm gonna put my 20 in there. Now why did I not put two zero and just fill in the zero? Because that would be 200 trillion. Yeah. And we want it to be 20 trillion. All right, now 510 million. So now I go to my million section and put 510. 510. See how I did that? Now, so what happens with the rest of these dashes? I fill them in, fill them in with zeros. You're exactly right. And that is the correct number. Good job. All right.